Jason Munson here with PelletStovePro.com and PelletStovePro.net. Today, discussing, 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 discussing door gaskets. Uh, this is the little gasket that goes around the edge of the door. You also have the glass gasket, which you can, uh, actually in this one, you can see a little bit of it, you know, coming out here. But uh, Dora gasket, how often does this need to be changed or replaced? Uh, it's one of those things, because the other gaskets on the stove tend to be, uh, need to be replaced every few years, um, you might think that this door gasket also needs to be replaced every so often. And you would be right, it does need to be replaced every so often, but probably not as often as you think. Um, the wear and tear in this is actually minimal. Once it kind of gets kind of compressed into the spot, it's supposed to be compressed and um, it, it tends to stay that way. Um, over, I guess, a very long period of time, yes, that gasket will start to lose a little bit of its integrity and it may need to be replaced. Uh, so you may be at that point right now of wanting to replace that or maybe you just want to do it as a general maintenance thing. I would probably say if your stove is less than seven or eight years old, uh, you probably don't need to replace this particular gasket, but maybe if it's a little older than that and you want to do it as a general maintenance item, um, sure, why not? Go ahead. Um, I replaced the gasket on this stove a few years back. This is probably its third season on it, and um, I'll, uh, I'll confess it was a bit of a bear to get in, and I had one of the problems that a lot of people have when they replace the gasket is that uh, the door wouldn't close. Uh, and I knew I had the right gasket because I am the pellet stove pro, right? So I know this stuff. So I knew I had the right gasket, but I couldn't figure out why the door wouldn't close. I ended up having to like adjust this thing here to step out a little bit. It just didn't want to compress uh, in the way like the old, old one was. And so it was a bit of a challenge to actually get it in. So if you're experiencing that particular problem, um, that's normal. And basically you have to compress this gasket in a lot tighter. Uh, most gasket kits or all the gasket kits that I sell for the door actually has some, some sealant that comes with it. Um, you don't want to use too much of that sealant because uh, that could cause, the, the, that could fill in extra space in there and cause the gasket not to, not to fit in correctly. So don't too, use too much sealant and spend your time at uh, getting that, that gasket uh, packed in there really, really tight. And that's going to make your life a, a whole lot easier and, and make your job a whole lot easier with replacing your door gasket. So any questions, feel free to email me at ebay at jasonrmunson.com. If you want to buy a gasket kit, you can go to pelletstovepro.net. And we have lots of other informative uh, blogs and videos at pelletstovepro.com.